Chelsea, Hereford and Worcester. Make a difference. Yes, this is a make a difference with a difference. Books are on the agenda today. And the stars of today's show, who are really making a difference, are the staff and pupils of Winterfold School in Chadsley Corbett in Worcestershire. It's a beautiful school. And they've established their own bedtime story reading scheme. They've brought back the glory days of Jack and Ori. Remember that? There have been eight episodes of Winterfold Story Time on the school's YouTube channel. And each week, somebody narrates their favourite book and the pupils and the teachers tell the stories themselves. Here's what it sounds like. Have a listen. Today I thought I'd read you a very special story. The story is called The Selfish Giant by Oscar Wilde. I'm going to read you The Enormous Crocodile by Roald Dahl. Are you ready? Hello, I'm Louis, and tonight I'm going to read you Five Minutes Peace by Jill Murphy. The children were having breakfast. This was not a pleasant sight. Mrs. Large took a tray from the cupboard. She set it with a teapot and milk jug, her favorite cup and saucer, a plate of marmalade toast and a leftover cake from yesterday. She stuffed the morning paper into her pocket and sneaked off towards the door. Where are you going with that tray, Mum? asked Laura. To the bathroom, said Miss Large. Why? asked the other two children. Because I want five minutes peace from the lot of you. The enormous crocodile grinned, showing hundreds of sharp white teeth. For my lunch today, he said, I would like a nice, juicy little child. Oh, I never eat children, the not so big one said. Only fish. Plop goes the drip, that drops in the cup. Duck looks down and Duck looks up. A leak in the roof. Oh, what bad luck. This is a job for... Fix, fix it, it, Duck! Beautifully read, aren't they? Now, later on in the programme, after the news at 12 o'clock, we'll be hearing from some of the staff and pupils at Winterford involved in that scheme on their YouTube channel, bringing back the glory days of our Jack and Ori. You'll know that if you're about my age. Uh, we got them together for some sort of impromptu school reunion this morning. Here's a little flavour of what's to come. This is head boy Louis and deputy head Ross Mitchell. Good morning. Morning. I have Mr Mitchell on the other line if you want to say hello to him. Morning, Mr. Mitchell. How are you? All right, thanks, Louis. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Which story did you read, Louis? I read Five Minutes Peace by Jill Murphy. Oh, tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's about Mrs. Large, an elephant, and her three little elephant children. <laughs> and Mrs. Large tries to go have a bath, relax, lie on a sofa, and every time she tries to walk away... Children always come in with either their clarinet practice, their reading books. Yeah. That's, that sounds very funny. <laughs> it is. And how did you feel about reading it out and how do you feel about it being on the YouTube channel? It's quite exciting, isn't it? It is very exciting and I feel very proud that it's on there because not everyone gets to do that sort of thing. Yeah. And it's a very big honour. Are you looking forward to going back to school, Louis? Are you missing school? Oh, I'm missing it like mad. Oh, yeah, yeah. School and it's a, brilliant. Yeah, I was just going to say, it's a great school, isn't it, Winterfold? Yeah. That's Louis. He's the head boy at Winterfold, and you'll hear more from him and his deputy head, Ross Mitchell. And also... And also we'll be hearing from the lovely Phillips family after 12. They're Harvey, William and Phoebe. And to see and hear the stories for yourself, just search Winterfold School on YouTube and you'll see them. I think there's eight episodes and they're great. And I think there's more to come. There's certainly more to come on that story. We'll revisit it after 12. And well done to the pupils and the staff and everybody at Winterfold in Chadsley Corbett because they are making a real difference.